Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. And I have not cleaned my desk since the last video, so I thought I would continue doing working on these since I wanted more than just a couple of pieces. So today's just a craft along. <laughs> um, I hope everybody is doing well and I appreciate y'all being here. I'm just gonna put these ones here that I already that we already did last time. I'm gonna stick those aside, hopefully, so I don't lose them. But you know, you never know. Might be a might be a hunting a hunting I may go for later on. I'll put these ones away. Um, this one here I, that's already turned out. She is really cute. Um, on top of the paper though, so maybe I will just put her on there like I was doing. I wanna. I think I might want to stamp or do something to the edge before I leave her on there though. So let's just put all of that one's not done. This one is done. Okay. Anyways, I'll just do that later. I want to stamp. I have lots more edges and I have lots more stamps and I have lots more sentiments. So let's get started. I meant to um, continue making these the other day and um, I got super sidetracked. Shocker. <laughs> I'm like super, super sidetracked to the point where I actually re, um, I reorganized my room a little bit uh, more to fit my needs. Um, you know, it's, what is that called? I am constant, constantly, I'm in flux <laughs> constantly, <laughs> but that's all right. I don't mind it. I mean, I mind it until I don't mind it. So what happened, I'll tell you is I've been feeling like super blocked and stuck for a while now and I'm like, and I just can't figure it out and I've been doing lots of things. I know I have a lot of stuff going on. I'm looking for a block and, um, you know, but I mean, I always have a lot of stuff going on, it seems like. Anyhow, um, and I realized that, well, I, I realized this about a week, maybe a little longer ago um, and I hadn't done anything about it, but Remember my, remember those shoe racks that I got? If you seen past videos, you may remember um, those shoe racks. I bought two of them because I wasn't sure what size and I ended up going with the longer one because it fit everything and I was so happy about it. Well, what happened is um, it it blocked, like when I walked into my craft room and I had it stacked and then I, and then I overstacked. So what was happening, I need to stick that on there somehow. Um, what was happening is I created a block to m me as I walked through my room, you know, so I, I just created that block. So before I even started to do anything, I was blocked. I don't know if that makes any sense to anybody, but that is how it works for me. Um, so that's what I did to myself. So I just thought, you know what, even if I'm not able to produce a video, I need to get this situated because it, it's getting to the point where I'm not going to produce anything videos or crafts because it was just crazy 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 um let's see what color ink let me try this one so i was thinking um when i and i really realized when something was happening is when i was preferring to be up in the living room versus down in my craft room and i thought that's not normal that is never normal i and when i prefer any place else besides my craft room that is not normal <laughs> so, so, so i was like okay it's time to reassess um and I think I'm going to like it better. I say that every single time, but I don't know. I think this is, seems like a color I would use more often, and I really like this saying, so I'm just going to do these down across this. And I know I said I like to tear in between before I do this, but I feel like I just get taken to different projects. So um, let me just put that one aside there for a minute, and we can cut later. Um... Anyhow, see, and I already, we did that, but I, I didn't finish cutting those out or ripping, tearing or anything like that. Let me see. What else do I have in here? Let's do some more of this coffee dyed one. I like that. Anyhow, yeah, I think, you know, I always think it looks better. I always think it's going to work better. Um, and I will say this every single time, you know, as my life progresses in this crafty world, I will say everything I do does work a little bit better. And then I find things that will work that will continue to grow from there. Does that make sense? I don't know. It's like a journal, you know? <laughs> you might have an idea and then as you go, you just keep you just keep making changes. Um, these stamps, you know, I don't have the, do I have the package? I don't think I have the package. I bought these on Amazon and it just, I don't know. Oh yeah, here it is, right here. Is this it? I think this is the one that goes, be thankful. 
Sometimes I, yep, it is. Okay, right on. So this one is Fiskars.com Be Thankful um, stamp set. I like them actually. I'm gonna, I should probably stamp them all out so you can see as well. Cause I think they're all pretty nice stamps. This one just says time. I like that. That's glued on there for a second. Might as well just leave it. Anyhow, I had, um, I left all my stamps over there, but I switched the shelves. The I took the shorter one and put it up here, and it, now it doesn't block me. I just felt like everything was like coming in on me on all sides. It may turn out to do that again because I am a stacker, but for now, I wanted to come to my craft room. I was like, why am I in the living room this morning? I actually want to go to my craft room. So, I mean, I always want to, but then when I get down here, I'm like, ugh, there's, I just felt like I just needed to clean and so, and I don't want to always, I mean, I don't mind cleaning. It's kind of, it's, you know, it's good. It's whatever. But um, I don't want to always feel like that's all I'm going to do. I'm trying to see if it'll fit this way. Um, I, mean, I guess one way to find out is to do it. See, I feel like I'm going to fight for the space. Let me see. Actually, that'd be cute little tickets too, wouldn't it? But I think I'm going to go this way because this is the way I stamp. I stamp you, as you can tell, crooked. <laughs> Let's see. I know, get it straight on the blog. I think I started out straight on the blog, but that glue is um, messing with me. All right, I'm gonna put that over there. And then I'm leaving them on because I think I wanna do some more, but in different colors, and I don't wanna have to keep re-gluing them. This one just says journal and which just, it just says journal, but that's okay. I like that too. Let's see, let's keep going with the copy. Yeah, it's too wide for that one. Anyhow, I, my whole, I, my whole idea the other day was to build up my stash of sentiments, you know, and some pretty little pictures, but is to build my stash of sentiments. So that is what I'm working on that one. I can't fit anything on there or this one. So. Maybe I'll just take this little one that says, be thankful. I'll go this way. I think I still have plenty of room to play. Oh, wow. That's like, <laughs> it's, it'll work. It shall work. Okay. And um, let's see. That one is there. I can do, since I'm not too concerned about being straight, I guess I can put this on this side. This one is the one that says home and has like the little abbreviation or abbreviation, sorry, description. The, um, you know, what's it called? The, the, you know, the dictionary thing. Sorry guys, I can't think and stamp at the same time. It's one or the other for me. Okay, that's just gonna barely squeeze on there. Let's grab a bigger one. Meaning, is that what it is? The meaning of it? The meaning of the word? All right, yeah, I like it. I have so many scraps, so I found a bunch more stuff. I found a whole other tub of things I have to go through. Jeez Louise, when you're moving things around, things, things come out, everything pops out. That's pretty. Home, gratitude, noun. So, I don't know. That's I, I like it. Uh, okay, let's see. Maybe stop that color for just a moment. And I do have these colors that I want to play with. And I think this one keeps falling off that pad. What other colors? Yeah, and I, I totally tear, oh, faded jeans. I should try that one. I totally terrorized my desk when I did, moved everything. So I was hoping, and I didn't I didn't leave, move any of this stuff. I was like, I'm just, everything's just gonna pile on top and hopefully I can just figure out, you know, where it all goes after the fact. Oh, look, oh, look, these that I practiced with. I really like them. So I did learn that that, sidetrack, I did learn when I'm putting that stuff on, I need to be more steady because it's very lumpy and bumpy, like um, little uh, 
what do you call it? Like um, pitted, it's pitted. Is that the word I'm looking for, I think? That's what it looks like. So it still looks kind of cool, but um, I guess if I was doing it on purpose, it would be like, oh, look it, and I got the pitted look, but I didn't do it on purpose. So I'm like, oh no, look, I got the pitted look. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's try a journal this one. This is the Faded Jeans. Oh, I think I want to do the blue on the um, pink here and see. Ooh, that's a pretty. That is pretty, isn't it? Let me do a couple of them, I guess, before I change colors. I will do three. I think my um, my stamp is switching around on me. So. Okay, and then let's try the let's try some of the purple, the um, dusty concord on here. And dusty concord is kind of a well, I don't know. I think it shows up different kind of a purple on different papers. Let's see what it does here. Oh yeah, it looks really purple on this pink. Beautiful. I love that. I love that. It's a really beautiful pink purple. It's a it's a really beautiful purple. Okay. There we go. So I pulled all my stuff out. Well, not all of it. Most of my stuff, some things to do some, to start doing some coffee and avocado dyeing and, um, every, and I needed, I want to do it from uh, on a weekend. So for me, it is a week long process minimum. I'm going to do it for Oh, you know, like, I'm going to do some more of this pink, I think. Um, I'm going to do it for a week. So I usually start off on like a weekend or what, my day off of work. So I would normally, what I want to do is start it off on a Wednesday because I only work till one and then on, and then I don't work on Thursday. So I would start it on a Wednesday for me at this point in time. Anyhow, blah, blah, blah. It's, I use up my whole kitchen counter, my whole counter, my, all oh, my kitchen table. I use the whole thing. I leave a very small area to be able to cook and um, dish our plates up. Very small area, which thank God Jason is okay with that. <laughs> he puts up with it. And then I just die for a week. I do all the dying because I don't bake it and I don't put it outside because I can't put it outside because the wind will blow it away. Anyways, um, and I don't bake it because I'm dangerous. Um, so anyhow, but every weekend, for so far I get a call or a message like what well, call it's funny you know you get text messages for lots of things but then when they want to make sure they're going to be here they want to call Ooh, that brown on the pink is so pretty this one is the um, ground espresso archival distress archival ink anyhow I've had company every weekend and um, I, I just have to for now on never try to make plans in May I like having company. It's, it's not a bad thing. It's just that um, it's just a busy month. It's just so stinking busy for me. Anyhow, so every time, and it's funny because this this year has been super crazy. I don't know, I don't know what's going on, but you know that if you have been if you've been hanging out here for a while, you'll know I used to have three guest rooms, which sounds like a lot, but it is what it is. The house is big. We we only sleep in one room. Um, so. And I just, so I have the guest rooms and, um, which one of the guest rooms used to be my craft room. And one of the guest rooms used to be an office, a home office is how we used it. And so when Jason remodeled the basement for me, there was a bedroom down here. We just went ahead and kept that a bedroom. And then I got this big giant craft room down here, which was great. But then that left those two bedrooms on the main floor empty. So I just, we just, um, we, me, <laughs> I got free reign on it. I just changed them into guest rooms. And I'm going to use, this one is going to be the Distress Archival Ink uh, Black Soot. Let me get some black ones on here. Um, anyhow, so I changed them into guest rooms and been working on them, making them pretty and, you know, um, with, you know, the beddings and decor and stuff like that. Oh, not my favorite. I'm going to stop doing that one. And um, let's see about the green one on the coffee dye. Anyhow, so I my guest room in the basement here with my craft room, you know, um, if you, you may not know. If you're newer here, you might not know this. But anyhow, I um, 
wasn't getting company like we used to and how I thought we would get it because of where we live. Company being, you know, like our kids and our siblings and grandkids and grandnieces and nephews and things like that. So um, I thought I'm not going to, I switched this craft, oh my gosh, I changed the guest room down here to be the fabric room and an office for me because now my life has changed gears with YouTube and things like that. So I needed that space and nobody else was using it and I thought why would I keep this guest room for somebody that may use it once a year or less like that's that's how often we were getting and not that much company and I have two guest rooms upstairs so anyhow that's what we did and I'm gonna try this um I'm gonna do the vintage photo I think actually this time it's, it's a lighter brown I think it'll fit on here anyhow the um so, so far this year, since I've, I've had this new uh, room, right? It's been my fab, changed it to be my fabric room. So I have no bed in there. I have no room to put a bed. Like even if I had a, uh, an air mattress, there's, there's nowhere to put one. And um, I could always break my table down, but the thing is <laughs> my table underneath is stuffed it, stuffed underneath the table. And on top of the table, there's so much stuff on it. Like there's literally, like, where would I put all that stuff at this moment in time? Ooh, I'd like the. I like the um, vintage photo on the coffee dye. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do a, a different stamp though, but I'm gonna do some more of that color. And let's try this um, Count Your Blessings. I like this one. I'm supposed to do all the stamps. Anyhow, I guess I just needed my friends to talk to. So thank you for hanging out with me. <laughs> um, anyhow, this is like the third time I needed a third guest room. I mean, we're making do without it, but it, it is so funny that um, the way it's happened and. I'm like, I was telling Jason, I said, well, when we gave up, when I gave up that guest room down here, oh, that is so pretty. This, So this one is the vintage photo and I'm doing it on this um, very light coffee. I don't think this is coffee dye paper. I think this is actually some of my paper, like drawing pad paper or children's drawing pad maybe even that just had already become kind of yellowed. Something I picked up somewhere. Um, Anyhow, what I wanted to do when we got rid of the, it used to have a king size bed. So I had bought a platform bed frame for us in our room and I didn't like it. Um, and so we moved it down here with the with the bed, you know, the bed in a box. It wasn't fitting us, like we needed a different bed. So we went back to the sleep number, which we both love. And the sleep number wasn't gonna work on the platform that I had purchased, that's what happened. And so we moved it down here to this room since this room down here was the biggest of the guest rooms and put the king down here and got us a, a, a new bed. So that's, oh, I smushed it. And I know it's probably okay, but I probably won't use it because it'll drive me crazy. Let me try that again. Anyhow, so you know those beds? I was trying to explain to Jason. I was like, I think I want one of those beds, you know, that you can kind of fold up. He goes, a Murphy bed? I go, no, no, no. I don't want anything that's coming out of the wall. Although that is a thought, right? If he wants, I think he's always wanted to build one. So maybe, maybe that'll work. But what I was thinking is getting one of those without a frame. You know, those, they just, I used to have them when the kids were younger, you would like fold them up, like fold it, fold it. And then it becomes like a chair and then you can unfold it. It's not the most comfortable thing, but you know what? Neither is a blow up mattress. And that's what, that was our other thought <laughs> to do. I don't want to have to do a blow up mattress. They're expensive and they always burst at the seams or something pops it. And it's going to be down here, which means who knows what's on the floor. I tell everybody, keep your shoes on. <laughs> um, so let's try a different stamp in this thing. What what I do with them? Okay, I think I have enough of these ones. I could put that away now. So anyways, isn't that something, all that, I'm just trying to tell you like, um, it's just crazy how things work out sometimes. Maybe if I put a little glue on this, it'll stay on here. Cause it's just not staying on there. And then I think I'm done with the home one. Which, what's that one, family? Okay, I think I'm gonna put, I'm gonna do, I really like this circle one. I, I like cause I can punch it out also on a um, thing. Here, I got this big one right here. So I think, and I just think it's funny. And I told him, I go, you know what it's gonna happen is we're gonna, I'm gonna get that room figured out. Whoops, I got that on the wrong side. I'm gonna get that room figured out and then we'll get that bed or however we're gonna do it. And then no one's gonna come visit again because that's just the, 
That's just the way it works, it seems like. Here's a big piece right here. I wanna do some more of this um, faded jeans though. So, I don't know, isn't that funny? But it's kinda cool, I mean, I'm glad to have company again. My sister, my my baby sister's coming to visit me this time, although she will have already, I don't know, she might still be here when you watch this video. Today is actually Friday and she's coming this weekend. So, um, and I think they're going home on Monday. But anyways, it's just funny. It's just, she's coming here and she's bringing her um, honey and my little grand nephew and, um, and then he has um, another daughter. So I have a grand niece, I, I guess a gifted grand niece and I'm excited for her to come. And she, I think she's 17. And then her, and then she's, she, and then his son, she's got, she has an older brother and he's coming as well. So how I'm, I'm just, I'm just excited. This is going to be their first time here. Um, for Preston and the, and the older and the older one and the older the adult almost adult one's an adult one's almost an adult I guess <laughs> children it'll be their first time here so it'll be pretty exciting they get to see the place so they are not married in in the in in man's law yet so which which is fine I mean like I don't care but they they want to get married they are engaged I guess I'm just saying that kind of weird and cockeyed but um, anyhow. So I think they may be coming here to check out the property and the scenery and see, because um, and they don't know if they're serious or if they're just joking around or what, but I guess they had mentioned, talked about maybe getting married here, which wouldn't that be so sweet? It would just be small. My sister's like, I don't want to be, I don't want a big wedding. I'm, she doesn't want to be up in front of a bunch of people. And it's funny, she's, so she's my baby sister. She's the same age. Her, my, I, I got two sisters. From my mom, my mom and dad had four kids, me and three boys, and then, um, and then they, they, anyway, they split up, divorced, whatever, and um, my dad never had any more kids, but my mom did. She had two more kids, and she had, that's how I got my sisters, although I was an, I was a, I was an adult when I got my, well, sort of, I was 16 when I got the first sister. But I didn't live with my mom or, or anything like that, and or I wasn't really around. And then my um, my other sister came when I was 18. Yes, so that was wow. I love this dang cat. Okay, so oh, I want to try some more of this um, mar this mermaid lagoon. Will this fit on there? Uh, just barely. Anyhow, so my sisters, they oh, they never called me Sandra. They always called me sister because they were little. And um, and it was funny because my they're called, you know, they're the same age as my kids. So my kids grew up with them. <laughs> and so my kids are calling my mom, of course, grandma. And they're calling my mom, mom. And they're all the same age. Amanda's my, the first sister. She's two years older than my firstborn. Oop, I just gave it away how old I was when I started having kids. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was a young mom. I was young. I was actually, I was pretty young. I was 17. Actually, okay, so I'm going to give you a little TMI. Here you go. Here's the story. I was married once before, and it was, um, it was not, I think, maybe I have told you this. It was not happy. Um, I got, I got two beautiful babies out of that marriage. I was married when I was 17, super young. And um, that was the only great thing. Well, the, only, the other great thing I got out of that marriage was, um, um, I guess, the blessing of knowing what I did not want and, how I, and knowing how I did not want to be treated and um, gave me the ability to really appreciate and be grateful for the man that I have in my life and who has been in my life for over 30 years. <laughs> And that's Jason. So, everybody has their faults. I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have my faults too. I'm just teasing. But, um, yes, that is that is a gift. I do look at that as a gift. And um, although I still have a lot of, like, 
icky feelings towards, you know, whatever. I try, I try to look past it every once in a while. It gets to me. I don't know why I'm telling you all of this. What was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah. So, um, Jason has been the only father to that my two, my, our two older children. And then we have one more kid that we had together. And then, um, I have four kids all together now, though, because when Danielle was my daughter, so Kristen and Danielle, first marriage, Jason ra raised them. They are, he, they, that's who they call dad. That's who they look to for support, for um, any kind of guidance in life at all. Brennan is the third one that he, that one was absolute, that was created. <laughs> that was, that, that one was created with Jason. And then we had another kid come to us when Danielle was, I think, 16, 15 or 16. That's how we got Alicia. Alicia was a friend of hers from school. And there's a lot of stuff, a lot of turmoil, a lot of, a lot of trauma in her life. Um, anyhow, she needed a home. And, um, so, and she needed one fast and she needed one safe. And so Jason and I, of course, stepped up and then we were doing everything we can't could to try to get um, custody of her. And, and we did, we, you know, we figured out, we tried to get in, her mom had passed away. She was young and her mom had passed away. We never met her. We never met either one of her parents, actually. Um, her biological father, we f finally found what state he lived in and located where he was. And we were sending him like papers to sign her over. And we weren't sure at this point before we even found him if we were going to be able to. So um, the state of so I had went to the state to, um, I think to do the DSHS Department of Social and Health Services um, and asked them like, how do I do this? What do I do? I need somebody to help me. <laughs> like, and they said, because of her age, she, um, she would be able to stay and because of how long she's been in Washington, she could stay in Washington. And they could, and she would become a ward of the court though, if um, we weren't able to find her father, which means then she would be placed in foster care. And we would not have the option to let her live with us unless we had um, went through the classes to become foster parents. And um, so we were like, oh my gosh, that's a, that's a big thing, becoming foster parents. Like we were not prepared for that. So, um, because I just, for like many kids, because we just didn't have the room. We also had an exchange student coming to stay with us that year. So there was a lot going on. And so we went and did that. We were in the process of doing the foster parenting classes so that she, they said that they would let her stay with us because they have a hard time placing female teenagers. So, um, if we went through the classes, they would automatically, she would just be able to stay with us. So that's what we started doing. And then um, we didn't finish the foster parenting classes because we were lo we located her father. And I sent him a letter explaining that something was coming to him for him to sign him and what it was and who we were and what we wanted. And, what, and we weren't going after for child support or anything like that. We just wanted her to have a safe place until, you know, she could be, be an adult, blah, blah, whatever. Anyhow, so that's how we got our fourth kid. And then, yeah, it was crazy. We had five kids in our house at one time, which is a lot to me. All of them were teenagers except for Brennan. He was the youngest one, but he was a handful on his own for other things. <laughs> he was just such a little rebel. Um, I mean, he was a good kid, and he, I mean, he's super smart. He just didn't like going to school. He didn't like being told what to do. He didn't like... He was just beyond his stuff. We have a very, we're, our school's small, you know, there's just not, you can choose where you live. Anyhow, he um, didn't like, he just did his schoolwork fast and he wasn't, he was the kind of kid that just things just came to him. I mean, I'm not that way. I don't know where he got that from, but I guess from himself. So he did, um, he would just do his work fast and he, and they would get mad because they wanted him to do all the steps to show his work. And he was like, but I, why? I mean, like he could just figure things out in his head. So he goes, is the answer wrong? I mean, he was doing this at a very young age. He goes, is the answer wrong? They said, no, it's right. He goes, then why, then what's the problem? And this is basically how he talked at super young. So like he was in second grade, first grade, second grade. He was like, why do I have to do that? I, if the answer is right, that doesn't make any sense. I'm like, well, yeah, it's kind of, I get it, but I, they want to make sure you know how to get the answer. He goes, why does that matter if I have the answer? I don't understand. So I don't know. Does anybody else understand that? I don't know why. I'm not a teacher. Do I have any teacher friends here? Is there a reason? I don't know. So um, anyhow, he was getting really bored at school and he would get in trouble on purpose so that he could leave school because he didn't like it there and he didn't like 
having to sit there and twiddle his thumbs. And um, I asked that we asked for him to be able to do other things. And they said, well, or can he do, I don't know, anything, anything besides just sit there and do nothing. They said there's not really anything for him to do. So I'm going to do this time one again. It's still on my thing. What he can do is we can give him more work. So they wanted to give him the same work <laughs> to do again. And then I'm like, he does, or, or extra work, or extra work. They're like, we don't have anything for him to do. I said, but uh, he was like, I don't want to do more of it. Because he didn't, just because he was, um, he got it. I mean, he was just a quite clever little kid he was. Um, he was like, I, I don't want to do extra work because he didn't even like doing schoolwork. Like, so he was just doing it. He could do it and do it fast. But so anyway, so what happened is he started, he, he learned, he's like, well, there's only one way to get out of this is to get myself kicked out of school. And I am not kidding you, my friends. He was getting himself suspended in second grade, suspended, like out of the school. He, and he would do whatever he would take. He would do whatever it took to get kicked out. He would say whatever he had to say. Um, he would pick, I mean, at one point he picked up a desk and threw it because they wouldn't, they were like, no, Brennan, we know what you're trying to do. You're going to stay in school. And so he's like, okay. And so he picked up a desk and threw it. I mean, not like clear across the room. I don't really know what, but you know, just to show like, okay, you're out of here. <laughs> you're out. So I would, I went and pulled him out of school. So he was hard. He was hard. I would have to, I took him out of school for second grade. He went back for third grade. I think some of third grade or third grade and then went back in fourth grade. And then he was already proving to be a little hellion. So doing stuff like that to get out of school. So I took him out in fourth grade, went back for fifth grade, took him out in sixth grade. I mean, I, we just went on and on. It was like horrible. So, and I am not a teacher and that is a hard job. I don't care what anybody says. That is not an easy job. I don't even know how they do their math. So Everybody changed everything. I wanted to do more of those, but my, I, they're, look, see how they just fall off? That's the one thing I don't like about these. They don't stick to this thing. Uh, yeah, I don't really want any more of these, these stamps, and I think I'm going to put them in a little container. I'll be right back. I picked these up at a yard sale, and they're clear. I, I bought these before with the colored ones, but again, colored things, I don't see them, but I like this. I think I'm going to do this with a lot of my stamps, because I don't care if they're in... Um, all of them. I don't care if they're in like, like these all went together. It doesn't bother me. Like they're just sentiments. So this is what I would grab and I would just have all these sentiments. As long as they're kind of like, like similar types of sentiments. Like I don't want to put happy birthday with this. You know what I mean? So thankful, grateful, pretty nice. And this is, I'm just going to keep that one in there because it came with this. But to me, that's an image and I'd probably just put that with images and then I can save that. All right. Anyhow, I don't know why I'm telling you it's all about running, but boy, he was, he was a little hellion. He's not like, he, he's, he's, oops, I forgot, I forgot to put in there. He just, he's doing good now though. He's in his thirties. Anyways, I don't even know I was talking about my sisters. So my sisters, I was going, let's go backwards. Let's go backwards. Was, I just think it's funny that they're, they're, they are in their thirties now. Although wait, did Amanda just turn 40? So Kristen is, um, 37 now, I think. Did he just turn 37? What's 1992? He, or no, that's Brennan was born in 92. Goodness gracious. I, I'm like forgetting when my kids were born. Does anybody else do that? Let's do this. Uh, uh, where's my, here. We'll just do it on here. So what's this? 2024, um, 1987, 1, 9, 11, 14, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's three zero. So yeah, Kristen turned 37. So that means Danielle is going to be 36 in August, 37, 38, 39. So my sister turned 39 this year, 39, 37, 38, 39. Didn't she? I think so. Anyways, she, so <laughs> goodness gracious. So my sisters, they still, so I have a 39 year old sister and I have a, um, 30, she'll be 36. She'll be 37. Goodness gracious, Amy is right in between Kristen and Danielle. So Danielle, so Amy is 36 right now. She'll be 37. She will be 37? Oh my gosh. Anyhow, they both still call me sister. That's what they've always called me. They call me sister. So when they call me, if they leave a message, they're like, hi, sister. Hey, sister. I'm like, um, sometimes when they were little, they used to call me sister Sandra. So like, instead of like, <laughs> instead of like just Sandra or instead of like 
not that they would call me this, but like how other kids say Aunt Sandra or something like that. They called me Sister Sandra, which was always funny to me in the beginning because I thought I felt like I was a nun. Like, they're Sister Sandra. <laughs> All right. Oh, my gosh. Too funny um, to me. Anyways, I just laugh every time I think about it. They still call me that. I only had a couple of siblings that ever called me by my name. Um, most of them, the, um, the boys, my brother right underneath me, Jesse, he always calls me he always calls me Sandra and then, but the other ones, they, sometimes they call me Sandra, but mostly they would call me like sis. So I was always sis or sister. It's like, why doesn't anybody like my name? I'm just kidding. I feel like Sandra is such a big name for a little kid. Do you ever, you know what I mean? Like, do you know how like some kids have like little, some little, like when you name your kids or people name their kids and they have this big grown up name for their little tiny person. It just seems like such a big name for a little kid. And then they, one day they grow into it. One day they are the the adult, the big kid with the big name, unless we shortened it up. So anyhow, there's a whole lot of information about nothing that I just went back and forth. I'm not even sure if I left off on anything. Okay, this that one is the watering can. I wanna see what it looks like sideways on these hearts. This is the itinerary stamp. I'm just gonna go right here in the middle. It's hard to tell, I can't see past everything. I'm gonna go ahead and rip this really quick. I'm not sure I'm gonna like all those sideways hearts on the outside of it. I want to tear this now, though, because I don't want to keep doing it if I don't like it, you know? Oh, yeah, it's not too bad like that. <laughs> Just can't see past it. All right, so these two are still good. I can do something small on those. But I'm, I think I'm getting addicted to these other colors here. So I'm going to try this vintage photo with beauty, beauté. Oh, I like it. And then this one, what does this one say? Dream. Oh, that's really tiny, but I like it. Okay, some sentiments. All right, um, I've got more stamps here, so. Let's see, I did that one. Let's get this one out of here. I'm just taking everything. I'm going to throw them in here in this bucket. Um, I might just leave that one that way and this one goes over there. Okay. Okay. Let's see what I've got. I pulled out these. That's for images. Look at these pigs. Aren't they cute? I'm not going to do those right now. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. We're not here to look at stamps. We're here to look at, find some words. I want to put some words down. I have this piece here. That's a nice little one. And then I have this other stamp there, this one right here. I want to do these word, these numbers. Let's see how they are gonna come out. Let's go back to this faded, faded jeans. Ooh, I think I'm gonna do it on this pink. Oh, I like that. I really like the faded jeans on the pink, really do. So let's just, I guess, let's try it on this one too and see how we like it. That's too close to that edge for me, I think. Well, you never know, but it could end up in something that I that I just give away because if I have to, if I have to mess with it too much, you know, it's just not going to happen. All right, this is what I need to do. I think take a few different strips out and. Do the same thing with the same color on a couple things. I'm just gonna go ahead and go in the middle there, like that. And do I have any more? Here's another. Here's a dark piece right here. It's kind of wide, but it's already torn down here, so maybe I'll go closer to the bottom. Yeah, I like that. Although, okay, that's good. Just stop. Pick something else. What else have I not played with yet? Quite a bit. So, 
And here's the other thing, you know, I went through all my stamps. So if, I, if, I, if I'm grabbing things and I'm like, oh no, I'm not gonna use it, oh no, then I think it's time to let that go. I need to just, what I'm gonna use. Like, if I'm not gonna use it, let it go. This one says inspire. Let's see how it stamps out. I like it, it's a nice big block. So I like that for certain things. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go up here and do it that way. I like that. I might like it in a couple of different colors actually. So let's. Oh yeah, I do like it in the brown, the dark brown. This is the ground espresso. Isn't that funny? I never realized I would have liked this dark of a brown. It is all thanks to Rhoda, which Rhoda is super busy. I don't know if she watches my videos, <laughs> but if she does, hello, Rhoda. Thank you so much for introducing me to our ground espresso on your videos. Like you just went to town on it with it all the time and I love it. And I know you said you love it too. So I was like, man, she just makes that. It's like when somebody's making or like making something or eating something and like, oh my gosh, it's so delicious. And you're like, and you're thinking, I don't think I would ever like that, but they make it sound so good that you have to try it. I don't know about you, that's how I am. <laughs> that's what Rhoda did was to me with the ground espresso. And then I'm like, oh my God, I really do love it. I really, really do. <laughs> I know I sound insane, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> Let's see, I like all these. I like that. That's the um, vintage photo. Let me try the green on this one. I'm gonna stamp it off first because I don't know what color it's actually gonna be with all the mixed colors here. Ooh, I like the green too. Makes me think of fairies. Okay, well, I guess, um, let's see, can I fit something on something else here? Ooh, that's pretty, kind of close to that edge though. I need more, I need more Terran room. Oh my gosh, my friends, I have to tell you when I, I feel so bad as I talk, talk about my youngest son being a little holy terror, but um, he is very, he does very well. He's, he's married, he's got two boys, but he does very well. They have a happy life. I, he's um, got a wife that helps keep him in line. <laughs> You know, they have a good marriage and they have a good family and I'm very proud of both of them. I'm I'm very proud of all my kids. But um I just wanted I just don't want everybody thinking that I just raised this holy terror. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Raising kids? Or, I thought this was gonna be a lot easier than it is. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. <laughs> I want out. <laughs> Anyhow, he um he is a he, he has a, him and his wife own a, an appliance repair business and that's what they do. Um, that's what they do for a living. So he uses his brain, but yeah, he was the school. They didn't have anything that I'm so sorry. I'm going back and forth again, but yeah, they didn't have anything. We just live in a small area, you know, you just get what you get. And so, um, they said, so the, when he, they moved him to, a um, it was the first time in their, their year they were doing here in the school, the first year they ever did it, they did a split class, a first and second grade class, which I'm from big cities. So that, I was used to that. Like they would mix two grades together. And um, and I said, oh great, I was excited. I thought they were letting me know that they were gonna let him do second grade work. And so they said, no, that's not what we're doing. We're gonna put him in there. We think it'll be beneficial for him because then when he gets done with his, cause he was in first grade, when he gets done with his work, he can help the second graders out with their stuff. So he can feel valued. And I said, uh, yeah, that's not really, I go, <laughs> he was like, no, I'm not doing that. So I don't know. I don't know. It's just what it is, right? Just what it is. Anyways, thank God we made it through. By the skin of our teeth, we, we all made it through. <laughs> <laughs> My oldest said, and so my youngest son, he didn't get, he didn't really get good grades because he, he stopped wanting to do schoolwork. He didn't like it. Like he just really didn't like it. He's the one that ended up going in the service also, but he just didn't like the schoolwork. My oldest son, he, he also, things just came to him super easy. I like this word dream. I'm going to do some more of these on here. 
he, um, oh, that's pretty in the green, isn't it? I wonder if it'll fit there. Nope, not enough. He got really good grades without trying. Like he just, it just came to him. Like he didn't really have to, um, well, I'm not going to say he didn't have to study because maybe he did study. He just enjoyed it. Like he, he was always the kid, even at a young age, he would be, he always liked history. He liked learning. He liked knowing. He always wanted to know reasons why, like, why is it this way? Why is it that? So he was constantly doing that. So he got good grades without trying. Brennan could have got good grades, but he didn't try and he didn't care. So, I mean, he would take the test that he needed, but I knew he wasn't, I knew that he could do it in the fourth grade was the first year in Washington. I don't know if this is everywhere, but where they started doing this different kind of, can't even think of what it's called, but they had to pass those crazy weird tests, which do, I don't know. I'm not a teacher. I don't know what they're for, but I had a lot of teachers even say it, it's kind of ridiculous what they want the kids to do, but I don't want that word. Anyhow, so he, ooh, look at this one, says notes. So when I took him out of school in fourth grade, that was going to be the first year they did it. The teacher told me, Sandra, I don't think it's a good idea. He's not going to, they're not going to pass him unless he does this. And the last thing we want is him to not pass the grade because it's going to be worse for him and worse for you and worse for us. She didn't say it in those words. <laughs> That's basically what it was. I, I knew what she was throwing down. I got, I go, I can't do this. I get called to the school every single day, every single day. I can't. I can't do this. I have, I was working at the time too. And I, and I have other kids in the house. Like I, I can't dedicate all this time to just one little mischievous child. So no, he's going to come out of school. She goes, okay, well, I just fear that he's not going to pass this test and then he's going to be held back. And I said, well, we'll just have to deal with it when it comes there. But I honestly don't see why he couldn't pass it to be perfectly honest. So pulled him out of school. My friend who was a stay-at-home mom, her kids were in school and I paid her very little money because I didn't have any money back then at all. And she didn't, so I said, can, so she homeschooled him and why well, just go to the school and get his schoolwork so the school still got the credit for him, him doing it. And then anyways, and she just helped him with his schoolwork. And so she didn't have any kind of like super, um, super woman skills or anything like that. She was just, she had more patience than I did because it wasn't her kid. So she, and he actually liked my friend. So he behaved. Anyhow, we had to take him in for that testing and he scored, he scored off the charts on two, on um, two of the things. Like, I think it was math and science. Like he, they didn't even have the scale. Like he was far past it. So, and then everything else he scored really high and like super high. So they're like, okay, well, I don't know how he knows this stuff. And I go, well, I don't either. Maybe he picked it up in a past life. I have no idea. Can't explain it. I don't know. I don't know that stuff. I can't do it. So this is cute. It's like a little square. I want to see what, how that looks on this. Pink. Cute. Yeah, I think I'm going to have a lot more fun with all these words in here. I'm probably, this is probably going to be a super long video because I'm just like chatting away, stamping. Anyhow. That there's that. I just I, I I just some days I would just I literally would sat on my bed and cried. Like I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't do this. I am not a good mom. I'm not a good mom. I don't know how to do this, Jason. I don't know how to do this. I said, Maybe I'm losing my mind. Maybe I just need to go into it. Maybe you just need to admit me for for a time. <laughs> I can't. I'm like I really did say that. I was like just crying. He goes, No. You need to stop talking like that. You are not giving up. I can't do this by myself. You are not giving up. And I was like, and then I, and then I snapped out of it. I thought, oh my gosh, I didn't really think about it like that. Like I was putting it all on him and he goes, so I snapped out of it. But boy, it wasn't just Brennan. It was just the whole thing. Like Danielle, she was my crazy daughter, teenager, like always pushing me and pushing me and not pushing me physically. Well, except for that one time. <laughs> you remember it, Danielle. I don't know if she watches this either. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't know. It's crazy. I, I, I mean, I know we're not the only family that has issues with our, <laughs> that has issues. <laughs> That's, you know, we all made it through. Barely, but we did. We made it. Um, let's see. I, I said, oops, and I have these cute little sentiments too. So, a lot of these went in those big boxes. I had a lot of duplicates and some triplicates. So um, time passes, friendship stays right where it's put. I love this thing too, it's so cute. So I think, what did I say? I like the, I like the ground espresso, but I'm gonna try the um, 
vintage photo on this to see. Oh, yeah, isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my friends, so much for just hanging out with me and letting me just talk away and stamp away. Talk and stamp, stamp and talk. It's so much funner to stamp when you're talking with someone. This is like seriously one of those things where you can just get together with your friends and hang out and stamp. And I mean, that's basically what I'm doing. Okay, I think I'm just gonna do this one all the way through. No, well, too late. I already inked it, so I'm gonna assume it go. I was gonna do a different color, but. Okay, this one's done. I mean, I don't want all my stamps to say the same thing. I mean, ever, all my books, you know, to have the same. A friend is someone who listens with a heart. Oh, that is, <laughs> thank you. Confirmation on what we're just saying, huh? That's nice, whoops. such it's nice it's nice that my kids are all grown and they have found wonderful partners and have grown their families and I love that I get along with them all and that my kids have now become you know friends and confidants and I as well as their spouses I love it and it's funny you know you know as we start our families off how the you know I don't know about you guys or I'm sure I'm sure we're not the only ones here too where the sister-in-laws and the brother-in-laws they're all you know we don't all always like each other I guess as we're starting off but as the children grow and time moves on we find life to be a little bit different and we find the friendships then sometimes sometimes they happen throughout but not for me it wasn't like that it was mostly it was it was after it was after the kids were grown you know, we're not just so hyper-focused on, I don't know, silly things, I guess. So, I guess they're not all silly. I just call it silly now because I don't remember all the things that we were upset about. Or who was, you know, was it something with attention? How old would you be if you didn't know how old you are? I like that one too. That one's cute. I should do that one a couple times too. What color am I using? I forget. Oh, see, it's that ground espresso. Hooked. 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 It is not the destination, but the journey. Oh, yes. I gotta have this one on there for sure. Um, it's gonna go this way. Um, I think I can get two. So now let's just do two different colors. That would be nice. Oops, I just inked up my whole block. do the, um, I'm going to do the faded jeans. I don't think I got all the ink off though. All right, my friends, I'm not going to really do much more. I'm going to keep on stamping um, some of those ones that we made last time with the fabrics. I'll probably do that later on. It's not on the to-do list at the moment. I've got other things that I need to get done. And um, so I might be just finishing off with a few more of these little stamps and saying goodbye. So I feel like I've been on here for a very long time. I probably have. I'm gonna finish these strips up here and see what else I can do. So I did wanna I, I did want to try a couple of these little birdhouse things. So I think I got these in, um, I'm gonna do a green one. I think I got these at the thrift store, I'm pretty sure. I'm, or, yeah, I think I did. It's funny, I don't collect birds, but I do collect, I like bird houses. <laughs> I do like them. And I think I'm gonna like cut these out, so that's fine. I can probably put it anywhere. Oh, so cute. I'm gonna try a green one on the coffee dyed also.
I just think this one's cute. What I like about it is the, um, hopefully I'll remember this. I like that it already has that little mark right there to put like a little brad in it. I don't know why I keep these in this little thing here. This just drives me crazy. So this is one of those things where I just want to take the stamps out and then so I can see it, my birds. And this is also one of those things where I know this is a set. I'm only keeping it in this container. I'm not a card maker, so I'm only keeping it in this container because it's what it came in. But I have other bird stamps. Like I feel like I should just organize my stamps by like with like. So birds and bees and um, all these things would like go in one thing. And then when I'm making stuff, it's easier for me to mix and match. I don't go back and go, oh, I forgot I had that. I could have used that when I was doing that other thing. This way I would know, you know? It's just like that. Here's another dream stamp, which these little foamy stamps, I usually throw them in my, um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, here's some gray hickory smoke. I wonder how well that shows up in my jelly print stuff, but um, I think that's gonna be super light hickory smoke, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go back in, I'm gonna do the blue, faded blue jeans. See how well this stamps. Yeah, I like it. See, it's still pretty. It's a nice, fat, foamy block. I actually think that might give it some ease, um, ease on the um, stamping. Anyways, ease, easier to stamp so that it all prints out. I don't know. Well, I thought I was done, my friends, but hold on a sec. <laughs> I just realized when I was cleaning up that um, the, when I took all those bird cages out of this and I was tossing it away, I thought, wait a minute. I wonder if they would look cute stamped like this, and could I use them? So I thought I would try some plain paper, and I did. I just, uh, but I did cut them up so I can get the pieces that I wanted. So I, let me throw those away, I don't need those. I don't need this one. Those ones didn't come out that good. I came up with these, was left with these three pieces, which, which, which are the bird cages, and I love them. I think they're so cute. And this is just on plain paper. Look, isn't that cute? It looks like a little baby bottle. <laughs> so cute. And then, um. Yeah, just little bird cages, but they're what I like about them is that they're just gonna frame stuff out. I will try another one here with you. Let me see if they show up on um, this music sheet. This is pretty busy, so I don't really know, but there's one way to find out. We all know that. We don't know what we don't know until we know. Um, let's do the, um, not that one. Where's my favorite one? Ground espresso. Ground espresso, ground espresso may show up the most, the bestest. So I just inked around here on all the rubber and and then I'm just gonna place it, which way? This way probably. Just pop it down and then hold it, of course, as best as I can. Getting as much ink to sink into that. Hoping it shows up because this music sheet is a pretty busy music sheet. <laughs> Oh, it does. So, and then all I did was, um, I mean, you can even leave them like that, but I'm gonna just go ahead and give that a tear and then just cut them out. So let me just go up the side there, make it easier on myself. And then just, I'm just gonna follow this around. This is all I did. So I lost some of the ink. Um, and I thought about maybe um, pulling those apart from each other but their rubbers are so close to each other. The rubber, uh, their, their pieces right here. I'm afraid that, like right there, that's what, see it's so close. I can definitely cut through it, but if I try to, um, I can cut through the inking part of it because I don't care if one side's fatter than the other, but isn't that so cute? And then, um, but I couldn't, I don't think I can cut through here thin enough where it would work, but yeah. So just thought I would share that little bit with you here that I've never done this before. I've always thrown those away. And now look, I wonder how many cool um, pieces that I tossed. Don't even know. And then just go around the sides and just round it up a little bit. I mean, you can still use them as bird cages, honestly, if you wanted to. You can do whatever you want. This one's torn right there, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just let that go to the wayside here. But so cute. What do you think? Um, let me know what you think. I mean. Look what I, I didn't even know I was getting this. And there we go. See, it pays to not, it pays to save your garbage. <laughs> All right. I'll let you go, my friends. Thanks for hanging out with me. Thanks for crafting with me. I hope you enjoy all your moments. Have a nice day and I'll see you on the next video.
Bye.